Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today in this episode of Keem Prep, we're going to be looking at some previous year questions of the Kerala Engineering Architectural and Medical Examination of 2019. So today we're going to be looking at some questions of mathematics and we'll be looking at how they are solved and the best way to solve them in a short period of time. So let's look at our questions today. The first question, let Z1 and Z2 be complex numbers satisfying the conditions mod of Z1 equals mod of Z2 equals 2 and mod of Z1 plus Z2 equals 3. Then we need to find out the value of the modulus of 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2. Okay, so how do we solve this question? Well, 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 can be written as Z1 plus Z2 divided by Z1, Z2. Basically, we took the LCM and decided to um, multiply the numerators in order to match the LCM. So now we got Z1 plus Z2 divided by Z1, Z2 under that modulus. So now we're going to take the modulus on both sides. So basically we have mod of Z1 plus Z2 divided by the mod of Z1 times mod of Z2. So from here, it's pretty easy to put in the values. So since we know that mod of Z1 is equal to 2, the mod of Z2 equals 2, and the mod of Z1 plus Z2 equals 3. So therefore, 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 will now be equal to 3 divided by 2 times 2. So therefore, the correct answer is 3 divided by 4. So among the following options, it's clear that option C is the correct answer. So here we're looking at putting in the values after, after finding the LCM and changing the sum accordingly. So 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 becomes mod of Z1 plus Z2 divided by Z1, Z2. We took the modulus to both the numerator and the denominator. And from there we got, you know, an equation that wherein we can put in our values. So therefore, the correct answer is option C, 3 divided by 4. The next question. If Z1 equals 2 plus 3i and Z2 equals 3 plus 2i, then mod of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to 50, 10, 5 root 2, 2, 25, 2 root 5. So remember that the modulus here is basically the actual value of the fun of the sum given. So mod means the value itself without the sign. We know that Z1 equals 2 plus 3i and that Z2 equals 3 plus 2i. So now we're going to add those two, that's Z1 plus Z2, so that is 2 plus 3i plus 3 plus 2i. 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3i plus 2i equals 5i. So, so Z1 plus Z2 is a complex number that is equal to 5 plus 5i. Now we need to find the modulus of the complex number. So mod of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to mod of z1 squared plus mod of z2 squared, the whole root. So we're going to apply that here. So mod of z1 plus z2 equals 5 squared plus the value of z2, so that's 5 squared. So z1 plus z2 is 5 plus 5i, so that's 5 squared plus 5 squared. So 5 squared is 25, so you have 2 times 25 inside the square root. 20, under root of 25 is 5, so therefore the correct answer is 5 root 2. So therefore option C, 5 root 2, is the correct answer. This is the final question of this episode. 10i divided by 1 plus 2i is equal to. 
minus 2i, 2i, minus 4 plus 2i, 4 plus 2i, and 6i. So, how do we know which of these is correct? Well, first of all, let's look at the question. In the question, you can see that both the numerator and the denominator are complex numbers. So 1 plus 2i is, a com is the complex number in the denominator. So in order to compute efficiently, we need to remove a co the complex number from the denominator. So how do we do that? We take its conjugate. So for example, if 1 plus 2i is our complex number, then its conjugate will be 1 minus 2i. So that's what we mean by a conjugate. So when we take the conjugate and multiply by that conjugate on both sides, you'll get 10i by 1 plus 2i times 1 minus 2i divided by 1 minus 2i. So we get 10i times 1 minus 2i on the numerator, and in the denominator, it's a plus b times a minus b, so you get a square minus b square, so that is 1 square minus 2i whole squared. So, now we will get, when we check out the numerator, you'll get 10i minus 10i times 2i. And in the denominator, it'll be 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 2i the whole square is 4 times i squared. Now, we know that i is under root of minus 1, so i squared will be minus 1. So we should put in that value. On the numerator side, it's 10i minus 10 times 2 is 20, and then you have i times i, that is i squared. So minus 20i squared divided by 1 minus 4i squared. So we'll put the value of i squared as minus 1 on both sides. So you'll get 10i plus 20 divided by 1 minus minus 4, so that's 1 plus 4. So 10i plus 20 divided by 1 plus 4, so that's basically 10i plus 20 divided by 5. 5 goes into 10 twice, and 5 goes into 24 times, so 4 plus 2i is the correct answer for this question. And if you look at our following options, it is clear that option D is the right answer. So, that concludes this episode of Keem Prep. Remember, it's pretty important to look at previous year questions in order to prepare for exams such as Keem in such short notice. So therefore, if you want to access our comprehensive set of previous year questions, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. For getting those videos, don't forget to hit the link in the description below that leads you to the playlist. And if you want to get latest updates about the content that we deliver, then don't forget to hit the notifications button, the bell icon that's present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.